Hello guys, now that I have my little uh, PCB for controlling the RC vehicles ready I've been looking for a couple of uh, RC models that would have pretty poor RC control that we could very easily upgrade just by changing to my little uh, control board here so the first one I have is this uh, Volvo A40D made by New Ray Models my plan is to remove the old radio control system which is just a normal 27 megahertz system I don't think there's going to be speed control or anything like that replace it with that PCB one of these little NRF24 uh, radio modules the SMD version and that should be pretty much all the electronics that we need to add everything else should be in the model little motors to drive everything I think there's a beacon on the model as well so we'll wire that up and I'm expecting the conversion to take uh, less than a half an hour because all I really need to do is wire one of these little control boards in so I'm going to do that in one video and then in following videos I'll probably add some uh, headlight LEDs, some brake lights and indicators and stuff like that. Pretty simple things because uh, the model doesn't have anything, only the drive motors I think. But in this video we're going to see how good the controls are and uh, how much of a load can we actually tip with this uh, mechanism that's in the, in the back of the truck here. And that will give us an idea of how much we've improved it when we've changed to our own system or maybe we'll have made it worse you never know we'll just have to uh, do the conversion and find out first impressions looking at the box it's clearly built to a price point you can see that controller looks like we have no speed control at all uh, it's really cheap looking plastic controller uh, the model is also uh, quite cheap looking plastic but I couldn't really find a good 132 scale um, articulating dump truck uh, I've, I've been looking for quite a while this seems to be the best that there's out there and I think I've seen a lot of videos um, where people have put control 32 uh, control boards into these models and they seem to turn out quite well now I didn't see any videos of the original before it had been modified in use that's what I was trying to see so I don't know how good this is going to be it I, well I expect it won't be very good but we can always upgrade it there seems to be lots of space in here probably enough space to even put six and twenty motors one on each wheel so maybe I'll do that at some point in the future but it looks to be some sort of a soundboard in it so let's see if that works pull it that No, that's not working. So let's take the model out of the box and see if uh, if we can get it working. Okay, here it is out of the box. It was clearly in there for a long time. The uh, batteries for the controller, uh, some of the acid had leaked out of one of those. So that probably means this was pretty old stock, this. All that was wrong with the sound was the uh, on-off switch had slid down a little, so it had uh, turned itself off. But I'll uh, hit the buttons now and show you what it sounds like. It's pretty, it's pretty rubbish. <laughs> so obviously that puts down the uh, the trailer, and it seems to end every sound with uh, a noise like the air compressor uh, kind of releasing. <laughs> so you can see the noises are all a little, uh, a little childish. But it is uh, supposed to be a toy, so. So I doubt I'll keep those uh, sounds on the model. I kind of prefer the models to be uh, a quieter. I'll probably just remove those three buttons off the side of it and cover it over with something else. I've seen a lot of the uh, guys who had converted them to CQ Control 32 uh, systems. They had put like a... It looked like a kind of an exhaust pipe or the, some sort of a silencer thing on the side of the... Of the model here so it just kind of come up and covered over those holes so that's probably what I'll do I'd imagine these are just straight to a PCB these buttons and we'll be throwing the PCB away anyway so let's see how this thing controls I'm not expecting any proportional control at all I'd imagine it'll just be pushed forward and the motor takes off so let's have a look I think this will be the the bed of the truck there yeah it's just it's just a switch and all that noise goes on the whole time. <laughs> so let's see if there's a limit switch on the bottom. No, it sounds like there is a slip clutch or something in the back there. So when the bed of the trailer hits its lowest point, it just 
continues to slide without damaging the gears. I think that's what's happening there. Let's try the other way. Yeah, something like that is happening there. So that might mean that we can only dump a limited uh, weight of cargo or the bed just won't lift because it'll think that it's reached the upper limit of the, the tip there. So that could be a bit of a limiting thing. The steering is also just a motor by the look of things. So you turn the steering wheel, you, which flicks a switch, it's not proportional again. So you flick the switch and the motor just starts pushing the model to one side or the other. So we're probably going to need to replace that with a servo. But that shouldn't be too difficult because the mechanicals of the steering should all be inside the model because it's already working off a, a motor in some way. So there should be some sort of gear that we can just um, mesh our servo to that will, will just allow us to directly steer that with proper proportional control as we want. So I'll just show you an example. And it seems to be the same idea, it just the motor pushes until it hits the physical limit and then some sort of slip clutch prevents it from uh, from going the rest of the way. The last thing to look at then is the drive motor and obviously again it's just going to be no proportional control, it's just going to be the motor going full speed. Uh, the motor is in the front of the model, that appears to be uh, the only wheels that are driven, the rear two axles appear to be freewheeling and of course there's no differential in the front it's just just straight axle being driven by a motor so let's see how easy this thing is to control okay it appears to be pretty much impossible to control the Steering is really slow. You're turning the steering axle there, but nothing seems to happen for ages. So that's obviously not going to work for us. The lack of speed control also isn't very good because it's taken off too fast to, to well too fast to control really. So that obviously wouldn't work. So those kind of things don't really matter. Once we change it to uh, my control board, uh, we will have the proportional control. Uh, it's already there in the program for that board so all I'm doing is just wiring in the motors of this model so it's it's just gonna work straight away no problems and I'm definitely getting rid of the engine noise and the reverse noise that is really annoying <laughs> so what about the scale if we take a look at it here beside the PC 400 this is a 132 scale uh, model excavator and the truck looks quite big beside it but I I had a look on the internet and uh, I found a picture of a Volvo A40D alongside a Hitachi 350 which probably isn't much smaller than the Komatsu and the size looks similar enough to this so the A40D actually mightn't be that oversized I mean it would be a big truck for a quarry it's not going to be a small road going machine it's intended to be used uh, off the public roads in a in a quarry so you would expect it to be a very big machine so it's hard to say for sure but I'd say even though it is uh, very big compared to most of my models it probably is reasonably uh, accurate scale wise but again this isn't intended to be a, a high detail model this was only ever really intended to be a child's toy so you know it's accurate enough for what it needed to be okay let's see can I climb this small hill with no load No, you could see the, or you could hear the slip clutch was working there. Once it got to the top of the hill uh, and tried to carry the rest of the truck, it just couldn't do it. So we're probably going to have to replace the drive motors in this. We'll see do we have enough control to get manoeuvred around to this straight section of road here. And I think the answer is no. All that seems to be happening is the slip clutch is going on the drive wheels all the time. So we definitely need to change the drive motor. And 
it's moving so fast that you can't really uh, compensate with the steering. The steering is is so uh, slow to react, but the model, the drive motor, is trying to go so fast that you can't really get control enough to line up for something like this. It was probably really only ever intended to drive around maybe uh, a sitting room floor or something. It was never really intended to need this kind of control. Even when I go to the smooth road surface here, I can see that the slip clutch is still tripping, so you'll hear it now. You can hear that clicking. That is the slip clutch in the motor gear train that's um, trying to save the gears from being destroyed. But it's obviously way too light. There's nothing here that should be restricting the motor from working at this point, but it's obviously not. So I think it's just a case of the motor and gearbox is just really poor in this model. So let's try from here. Well, it made a good attempt at it there, but the steering is just so uh, slow to react that you'd need to be steering way in advance of when you want it to turn but the drive motor is just too fast for that so you end up kind of veering wildly out of control <laughs> here's the first test of the uh, tipping capacity this is uh, about half full i suppose let's see if we can even dump this no it hasn't a hope of uh, lifting that <laughs> So it looks like pretty much all of the uh, drive motors and gear trains will need to be replaced which is no real shock really when I was watching the Control 32 videos they did appear to have replaced pretty much everything themselves so I was kind of expecting that but for the first uh, conversion of this video I'm going to just try and improve uh, what we have here I'll wire up the, uh, the proper control board with the proportional control for a start and we'll probably need to replace the servo straight away but I'll also see is there any way that we can tighten the slip clutch on the motor that's in the model or we could always just glue it in place I don't really care if I break this motor to be honest uh, I probably will replace well that drive motor and put motors on the other four wheels at the back so it's not really a big deal to me whether the gears break in the gearbox or not so if there's no way to tighten it up, I'll just glue the slip clutch solid and we'll see how that works. And of course, I'm going to get rid of that annoying noise. Okay, so that's the stock Volvo A40D RC control model from New Ray. It's not the best quality model, but as a basis for this, it's kind of the best there is in a 132 scale articulated dump truck. I couldn't really find anything else that I could convert as easily as this, I don't think. So I'd expect there'll probably be two more videos for this model. One uh, where I do the conversion just to add the my electronics into it. So we'll get the drive, the steering, the dumping working. And then there'll probably be another one where I upgrade the lights. After that, once I've had time to uh, assess how well it performs really, then I might want to add other things. I might want to uh, improve the drive wheels. Maybe I'll make it 6x6 six six, uh, wheel drive. But... We'll just have to see how it goes first. So make sure and keep an eye on the channel for the follow up videos to this build. And if you like it make sure and hit the thumbs up and any comments or suggestions let me know below the video. And I think that's pretty much everything so thanks very much for watching.